एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम so welcome to the second part of the video so in this in this video we are uh, uh, learning about the solution techniques for the bernoulli differential equation and claret's form of differential equation so in the first part we have learned about the bernoulli differential equation and in the second part we will discuss about the claret's form of differential equation so for more details you can refer to the book from ishan publishing details of which is given in this side and link is given in the description box so this is claret's form of differential equation so this is called after the french mathematician claret he has given this form so in this one we see that the given differential equation is written as y is equals to px plus f of p where p is the derivative of the different uh, uh, of the dependent variable with respect to the independent variable so this p is dy by dx so claret says that if your given differential equation is in this form that will be called as claret's form of differential equation and solution for this differential equation will be found out so let us say that this is equation number 1 so we differentiate differentiate 1 with respect to x so we get dy by dx is equals to p plus x dp by dx plus f dash p okay so this dy by dx can be written as p so this becomes p plus x dp by dx plus f dash p and here dp by dx will also be there so it becomes f dash p dp by dx and this p gets cancelled on both the sides so this becomes dp by dx can be taken as common so f plus x plus f dash p is equals to 0 and this can be written as dp by dx is 0 and therefore p can be written as a constant c since p can be written as a constant c so this this uh, the sub p can be substituted as c in the equation number 1 and that will be the solution of the differential equation so if we substitute substitute p equals to c in differential equation 1 so it becomes y is equals to cx plus f of c so where c is a constant so we can see that this differential equation involves only dependent variable independent variable and constant and therefore this will be called as a solution for solution for differential equation 1 right so this will be the uh, solution for the claret's form you can we can observe that we can find out the solution of a claret's form simply by uh, substituting this p with this constant c so we will take example number 1 for this claret's form so let us say the given differential equation is y equal to px plus a by p so we can see that it is written in the form y equal to px plus f of p so this is free of x f of p is free of x so uh, let us try to find out the solution for this differential equation so for that let me call this as equation number 1 so we will differentiate this equation number 1 with respect to x shade with respect to x so it becomes dy by dx is equals to p plus x dp by dx minus a by p square dp by dx 
and dy by dx can be replaced with p. So, it can be written as p equals to p plus x minus a by p square and they can be clubbed with dp by dx. So, this p gets cancelled on both the sides and it becomes dp by dx x minus a by p square is equals to 0 from which we can conclude that dp by dx is 0 and therefore p can be taken as a constant c and the given differential in the given differential equation this p will be substituted as c so the solution solution of given differential equation can be written as y is equal to cx plus a by c square which will be called as the general solution of the given differential equation. So, uh, is it necessary to uh, follow this procedure or if we are uh, able to get that the given differential equation is in the clearance form of differential equation then can we, sub can we substitute c for p? Yes, we can do that. Once we verify that the given differential equation is in the clearance form, we can simply substitute this c for p and we can find out the solution for this given uh, for the differential equation we will take one more example and in that we will not follow this procedure we will follow we will find out whether the given differential equation is in claret's form or not and directly we will write down the solution for that claret's form so this is example 2 so p equals to log of px minus y so, suppose the given differential equation is in this form. Now, if we compare it with the standard form of Claret's form, it is not given in the uh, uh, standard form of Claret's form. But let us see that whether we can write it in Claret's form or not. So, it can be written as e raised to the power p is equals to px minus y and therefore y can be written as px minus e raised to the power p. So, if this form, we, we cannot replace p with c here unless and until we are able to find out whether the given differential equation is in Claret's form or not. When we have uh, transformed this into this standard form of Claret's form, then we are able to see that this is clearly in the uh, Claret's form. So, this is y equals to px plus f of p. So, this, this portion minus e raised to the power p can be taken as f of p. Now, we have come to know that this uh, form is the Claret's form of differential equation. So, therefore, we can find out the solution directly by replacing this p with c that is the constant. Therefore, if, if this is the first uh, differential equation, this is the given differential equation and this is the modified form of uh, the given differential equation. So, we can say that that since 2 is in Claret's form Claret's form, therefore the solution for 2 can be written as y is equals to cx minus e raised to the power c and this will be the solution of the given differential equation also. So, uh, this is c. e raised to the power c. So, we can verify that by following the procedure also. So, let us try to find out whether uh, the uh, procedure is giving us the same result or not. So, if we take this two, so this is first method where we are substituting the uh, uh, constant c for p and let us try to follow the procedure to find out the solution. So, if we take this 2, so differentiate this 2, with respect to x. 
So if we uh, differentiate it with respect to x, this becomes dy by dx and this becomes equals to p plus x dp by dx and it is minus eta to the power p dp by dx. And since it is dy by dx can be replaced with p, therefore it can be written as p is equals to p plus x minus e raised to the power p dp by dx, which can be written as dp by dx into x minus e raised to the power p and this equals to 0. And therefore, this can be written as dp by ds is dx is 0 and therefore p can be written as constant and since p can be written as constant therefore p can be replaced with the constant. So we can see that the solution can be written as y is equals to if you can go to the this form. So y is equals to cx minus e raised to the power c and you can you can observe that this is the same form when we have written directly after uh, after finding out that the given differential equation is in Claret's form and this is when we have followed the procedure to find out the solution for Claret's form. So we have learned that if we are able to find out that the given differential equation can be written in the standard form of the Claret's form that is y is equals to px plus fp then this p can be uh, replaced with this constant c. So in this part of the video we have uh, learned that uh, what is the Claret's form of differential equation. If a differential equation is given in the Claret's form, then the solution for that can be written directly and there is no boundation that it should be of which degree. Yes, boundation is there on the order, it should be of first order, but then it may be of any degree because f of p, the uh, in the Claret's form, f of p can involve p square, p cube, any, any uh, expression like that which should be free of x. Yeah. So whenever a first order differential equation is there which is not of first degree then this clear and it can be written in form of Claret's form then the solution of that uh, differential equation can be written directly no need to compute no need to go through the uh, uh, solution technique. So. Uh, in this uh, video, we have learned two type of differential equation. First was Bernoulli differential equation, which we have covered in the first part. And in the second part, we have covered the Claret's form of the differential equation. So for more details, you can go to the book, which is uh, details for which is given on this side, which uh, from S. Chand Publishing. Link is given in the description box. I'm sure you have understood the concept which has been discussed today. The solution technique are for the differential equation of first order but may not necessarily of first degree. So if you have liked the video, please like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification as and when next video will be uploaded. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.